In this video, we'll show how you can upgrade your SAP BuildApp service plan from free tier to the standard edition. First, you'll need to export your application projects from the SAP Build lobby. You can also export any backend projects as well as their content. Once you export your project data, you'll have an Excel file. Once you have all your project files, we'll head to the SAP BTP cockpit. Next, under your subscriptions, delete the service instance for SAP Build Apps in your BTP subaccount. When you delete this instance, you're also deleting the IAS app and any roles associated with the subaccount. After deleting the instance, you'll need to wait for a few minutes before starting the booster. Wait at least 30 minutes to make sure the deletion process is finalized. Once this is done, you can now subscribe to the SAP Build App Standard Edition plan with the booster. Under Boosters, search for SAP Build Apps and select the tile for Detailed Account Setup. Follow the steps to complete the setup. Choose Select Subaccount to select an existing Cloud Foundry subaccount. Under Plan, you can change it from Free to Standard. You can also delete the other service plans because these were already installed with the first booster run for the free tier and they aren't automatically removed when you deleted the previous instance. Once these are completed, add any users to the various roles and then move on to review all the details. If everything looks ready, then you can finish the setup. This process could take a few minutes and when it's done, you'll see a confirmation that your subscription was successful. You can now go back to your sub account and confirm that you're now on the standard plan. Now it's time to import your app projects. Head back to the SAP Build lobby and upload your files. Now you're ready to continue building. Here are some additional hints to assist with the upgrade process. In case you encounter any issues with the booster setup, check for an error message. Remember that you'll need to wait until the free tier instance has been completely removed. After deletion is finalized, then you can subscribe to the booster. It's also important to remember to update the IAS setup for SAP Build Workzone. Under Trust Configuration, you can select your custom IAS tenant. With the change to the standard plan, you also created a new IAS app for SAP Build Apps, and therefore you have to update the IAS configuration for SAP Build Workzone and create a new dependency to the new Build Apps IAS app. This step is necessary to prevent any issues when you want to deploy your application. Finally, if you've created your own role collections, you'll need to update these in SAP Build Apps. If you're only using the standard role collections, like developer and admin, you can skip this step as the booster will add these roles again. You can check for assigned roles here and searching for Build Apps. Under Role Collections, you can also add new ones, such as Admin and Developer, based on your team's needs. Once you've completed these, you can save. If you have backend projects in Visual Cloud Functions, you'll also need to deploy them again. Now you're ready to go with the SAP Build App Standard Edition.